All right, folks. So I am developing this online course dealing with the French philosopher George Bataille. I'm doing that with my friend and colleague Nina Power, the British philosopher. And in preparing for the course, I thought I would create just a few short videos on some preliminary materials that people might find interesting or valuable. If you're interested in the course itself, you can go to the link in the description. So what I want to talk about in this short video is two topics that Bataille writes a lot about. One is incest, and the other is what, what is called potlatch. I'll go into what that means. But I want to just ask the question, why is he interested in these uh, rather bizarre and often terrible things? You know, if he was writing on Twitter today, uh, people would probably think he's an absolute freak. People would call him a pedo, and uh, he would be canceled many times over uh, because he's very interested in uh, quite bizarre and dark practices. Incest, of course, speak for, speaks for itself. And potlatch is a little bit more obscure. Potlatch is essentially a kind of ritualistic practice found, uh, especially in a lot of uh, primitive peoples or primitive tribes, whatever you want to call them. My primitive might be a little passe. I, I, I apologize. Not really. But uh, the point is, why is he interested in these things? What do they have in common? And in particular, he actually writes about these things together, like in The Accursed Share, for instance, uh, one of his more influential or one of his more well-known books, let's say. Uh, that actually advances economic and social scientific claims. Uh, he analyzes incest and potlatch kind of in the same spirit. So where do these ideas come from? Why is he interested in these kind of bizarre practices, these bizarre anthropological practices? So I want to just give you a little bit of preliminary background that will enable you to study this more deeply if you want to. So First of all, what you have to understand is a little bit about Bataille's influences. He's very influenced by the important French anthropologists at the time of his writing in the early to mid 20th century. In particular, there were two French anthrop anthropologists that a lot of his work is implicitly referring to. One is the, the anthropologist Marcel Mousse, that's M-A-U-S-S, -S, pronounced Mousse. He was essentially the nephew of the even greater kind of towering figure of, of modern social science as we know it, Emile Durkheim. Durkheim is pretty much one of the founders of sociology as we know it, as a discipline. Um, Moose was the nephew of Durkheim. So that's one influence. On the other side, you have Claude Levi-Strauss, who is another towering figure in kind of French social science at the time of Bataille's writing. And Moose and Levi-Strauss study very different phenomena. Uh, the stuff that Bataille says about incest largely comes from Levi Strauss, and in particular, his one book called The Elementary Structures of Kinship. And with Marcel Mousse, um, the stuff on potlatch comes mostly from Mousse's book, The it's called The Gift, and it's a study of, of, of potlatch ac across cultures, gift giving more generally. We'll talk a little bit about what potlatch involves in just a minute. Okay, so those are the two Two, not the two, but those are two key references and kind of background figures one should look into if one's interested in understanding the overall scope of Bataille's uh, philosophy and worldview. Okay, so let's break these things down, just the basic concepts. Potlatch is essentially a kind of ritual practice of sacrifice or waste. It refers to a wide variety of different types of of scenarios, let's call them, that have at their core a kind of provocative display of waste or expenditure, what Bataille calls expenditure without reserve. So in the classic scenario that's associated with uh, Northwest uh, tribes, namely uh, Native American tribes, in fact, in, in, in the Northwest regions, you have rather extraordinary display of something like burning slaves. So one tribe, the chief of one tribe will uh, visibly, publicly kill his own people, kill his own slaves in front of the other tribe as a show of force. Okay. That's just one kind of rather dramatic example, but then there are other more, uh, you know, smaller scale examples that are a little less sensational. For instance, um, you know, in Melanesia, for instance, there are some quite fascinating uh, gift-giving circles that uh, Marcel Mousse examines in, in his book, The Gift. Um, there, are, there are people in Melanesia who will uh, go one island to the next. They'll go around in boats and actually uh, do rather, relatively smaller scale acts of, of gift-giving. 
Uh, and this is essentially a kind of ring of potlatch-esque phenomena. So this is another kind of example, okay? So there are many different examples of the, of the basic underlying phenomena. And, and so that's, that's potlatch. A few things to note about potlatch, though. It's not a selfless act. It's not, it's not just a kind of radical altruism. It is an aggressive act, in fact, and it, and it demands reciprocation. It expects reciprocation. So if I'm the chief of a tribe and I am burning my slaves, I'm doing that as a sign of power to show how powerful I am. And the tribe that I'm doing that towards or for, I expect them to do the same in return. And if they don't, then that just shows that they're weak, they're, they're betas pretty much. Uh, and it actually means that they're indebted to me in, in, in a certain way over time. Okay, But if they do reciprocate and they do burn their slaves similarly at the same level, the same intensity and same quantity, then it's like we're peers, there's an alliance, and that's a sign of kind of mutually uh, powerful, relatively equally powerful uh, exchange and alliance, more or less. Okay, So that's potlatch in a, in a really quick and dirty nutshell. Now, and that's coming from Marcel uh, Moose, all right? So, but I was also interested in incest for what we'll see in just a minute is essentially a very similar reason, even if it's not obvious how incest and potlatch um, are similar. I'll, I'll, I'll explain that to you in just a minute, but let's just go over what Levi Strauss says about incest and what Bataille imports his, into his own philosophy from Levi Strauss. So, okay, I would say there are pretty much two main points. The first is that uh, Levi Strauss says that the incest taboo is essentially the beginning of human culture. It's where humans really distinguish themselves from animals insofar as it is the first voluntary human constraint, a kind of self-imposed human constraint on our natural human appetites. That this is this is the foundation of culture in, this, in, in some sense. And the incest taboo, according to Levi Strauss and then Bataille, is it really has more to do with promoting alliances than it does to than it does sex itself. It's not really primarily about limiting sexual contact or reducing sexual pleasure or something like that, but really it's a mechanism for establishing alliances between families. So it's an it's a it's a self imposed restraint that the fathers and brothers impose on themselves, not really for something that has to do with sex, but really so that the daughters and sisters can be given in a way that extends uh, community bonds and alliances into other families. So that's something that Levi Strauss and, and Bataille both believe. All right. So what Bataille is really trying to do when you see him writing about incest and potlatch and these bizarre practices together is he's essentially looking for the underlying principle. He thinks that there is something common to these two practices. And that's what he's trying to get at with his concept of, of the accursed share and his more general takes on uh, on expenditure and waste. Because where this is essentially going is that Bataille wants to argue, and he argues in, in the accursed share, that the incest taboo is essentially a kind of pot latching of women. So that when we prohibit ourselves from incest, we are essentially performing a kind of pot latch, just like the like the Indian tribe that burns their own slaves. It's a similar gesture. It's a kind of cultivated act of wastage, a kind of anti-utilitarian gesture inflicted on the self in order to signal something and create alliances and bonds outward from the self and from the community. So what Bataille is really interested in it is what is that? Why do we do that? Why do we see these social formations, both in incest and in potlatch? And he, he will argue in other ways also, such as war. He, he essentially thinks that the great world wars, for instance, were essentially a kind of uh, expenditure mechanism that, that was uh, forcing itself onto the agenda in a way that we don't even necessarily fully understand consciously. Uh, but a certain amount of expenditure and waste has to occur for systems to equilibrate is essentially the idea that Bataille is, is getting at. Okay. And so you might be wondering why, why does this matter? You know, who cares? What's, what's the, what's the implication? What's the quote unquote takeaway, if you will? Well, I think it's important because you need to understand these inroads to the, to the larger argument that Bataille is going to try to cash out later. 
you, you, sometimes when you're reading Bataille, you can get kind of lost in the weeds and there's this long subsection on incest, then this long subsection on, on you know, uh, potlatch. And you kind of, maybe it's hard to tell exactly what's going on or where it's all going. So what I'm trying to back out for you and hopefully provide some context on is why he's doing that and where that's going exactly, where those roads are leading. And to kind of foreshadow, I will say that what it really has to do in the end, what it really has to do with in the end is sovereignty. It's really a matter of how humans and larger collectives can act with freedom, with true freedom. And Bataille's thesis is that there is something tightly connected between kind of oppressive, servile human behavior and human experience and the kind of utilitarian drive to maximize efficiency and to reduce waste. That in some ways, the utilitarian idea of trying to minimize waste, trying to get the most leverage out of something as efficiently as possible with the least amount of waste, and this is essentially the kind of typical modern attitude, there, there's something intrinsically self-destructive about this that is fundamentally unsustainable in any system. There needs to be periods of, of, of extraordinary expenditure. And if you don't do that in a cultivated way, then you're going to have uh, terrible catastrophes. And Bataille is essentially building this kind of... Uh, anthropological argument he's he's pulling from different data points different aspects of previous research whether it be incest or potlatch to basically show how necessary expenditure is how necessary waste is so potlatch and incest are essentially data points building up into a much larger argument about the nature of man and the nature of freedom and the nature of of oppression really especially in a kind of modern context where a utilitarian ethos is by far and away the most dominant way of thinking about everything. So I'll cut myself off right there. Uh, I would just say, yeah, if you're interested in the full course, check the description below. Uh, we're going to go into much more detail on all of this stuff, but these videos will just give you a kind of very preliminary kind of background discussion that might help you hopefully get into Bataille more on your own or with us if you want.